Hey everybody, Jackie here with Iowa Live. Something we're asking you to do is mask up Iowa for the safety of yourself, for the safety of others around you. But when you're wearing a mask, what are you hiding? You're hiding a big part of your face and one of the most important things, your smile. But there are still things you can do to brighten your face. Because what do you see? Well, that's your eyes and your eyebrows. So I wanted to check in with one of my dear friends, Kelsey Zeman. She's with KZA Cosmetics, also Kelsey Zeman Artistry. And she's gonna give us some basic tips, things you guys can do at home to just kind of brighten your face when a good portion of it is covered as we're, again, asking you to mask up Iowa. Now you don't have to go crazy with these big eyelashes that I wear every day, but there are some very fun and easy things you can do at home. So I'm gonna stay socially distanced, but we're still gonna go in and learn some great tips for you right now. So let's go have a look. Here we go, inside this beautiful space, inside Mainframe Studios. This is Kelsey, all right, here with a beautiful model, Carly, as well. So give us some ideas. What can we do if we're only seeing our eyes and eyebrows right now? What do you recommend? So there's definitely no reason to put makeup anywhere on your face other than kind of from just beneath your eyes up to your forehead. So you definitely want to make sure your brows pop and add just a little bit of a brightening effect to your eyes as well. So on Carly, I've already done one side and I'm going to demonstrate on her other side kind of the steps that we took to get this look. Okay, so how do we get started? So first thing I'm going to do is fill in her brows. So I'm going to use a brow powder and just a light brown on an angled brow brush. I'm going to brush her brows up and then I'm going to sweep just below the hairline and fill in. If you have blonde hair, you usually want to go a couple shades darker on your brows. If you are brunette, you usually want to go a little bit lighter. And then I'm just brushing that through so she has some beautiful definition. And a lot of us haven't been able to still get to the salon and get our brows waxed. So another important step to this is just highlighting around the brow. And you can do that with a good concealer. So I'm going to take a concealer that is just a little bit lighter than Carly's skin tone. And I'm going to sweep that right underneath the arch of her brow and then just kind of blend it down with my finger. The other thing I'm gonna do is pop just a little bit right on the inner corner of her eye. So I'm gonna have you look up and I'm just gonna press that right on that inner corner to highlight. You don't need to put on a full foundation, so just doing that little pop of concealer on the inner corner is really all that you need. Then I'm going to go in and just add a little bit of eyeshadow. So I'm starting with a really bright flesh tone. I'm going to have you close. And I'm just going to press that right under the arch of her brow. And then sweep it over her entire lid so we have an even base to work with. All right, and then I'll have you look up. I'm also just going to use this right on the inner corner of her eye. This is just setting that concealer. And then I'm going to go in with a blending brush and I'm taking just a soft brown. And I'm going to have her leave her eyes open and just look straight forward. And I'm going to blend this right in the crease. And this is a great wide way to just lift and open your eyes. Perfect. Then I'm going in with a really small brush and I'm just taking a soft bronze color and I'm gonna place it right on the edge of her eye here and blend it up into the crease. All right, and then I'll have you close. And I'm just gonna blend that in. back with my blending brush. I'm not adding any additional shadow on it. I'm going in and just blending that out a little bit more. And then I'm gonna finish it off with some eyeliner. So take an angled liner brush and just take a nice deep brown shadow. You can wet your brush if you want a little bit more definition. 
it'll have you close and I'm just gonna press that right into her lash line and blend it upward. I'm not bringing the liner all the way in on her inner corner. I don't wanna close her eyes off at all. Try and have you open. Perfect. And I'll have you look up and we'll add just a little bit along the lower lash line. Nude liner is a really great product that you can use right in the waterline to highlight. So I'll have you look up and we're just going to sweep that right along the waterline. And then we'll add some mascara to make her lashes pop. She's got amazing lashes already. I'll have you just look down. And if you bump the brush back and forth while you apply, it kind of adds just a little bit more volume. I'll have you look up and then just hold the wand vertically when you're doing the lower lashes. And final step is a clear brow gel. We'll just sweep this right into her brows to hold her brows in place. And then just sweep away. I can look up any of the shadow that might have fallen underneath. All right, and you've got a quick and easy eye that you can do that will pop really nicely even though you have a mask on.